What's up, my spooky little goblins? That's what I call you, my subscribers. It's me, your favorite YouTube creepy story narrator, Duke Spookum. Hmm, yes! Oh, I'm here to tell you quite a tale, quite a spooky yarn tonight. Oh, yes, oh. Tonight's story is the spooky man of Walmart. Oh, it is one of my favorite tales. Oh, yes, I am Duke Spookum, and this is one of my stories. Oh, yes, let me tell you this story. It's called Spook Spooky Guy in Walmart, the, spook of the spooky fellow. Bad guy in Walmart, that's the name of the story. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes, it's me, your narrator. Mm. So, once, this is a note to someone I met in Walmart one time. I don't know your name, but you are walking with your family. You are a single mother and you had a bunch of kids. One was named Crystal Pepsi and the other was named Jaden Ludacris. I saw Jaden Ludacris and I thought, mmm, I want to taste that boy. I want to get him all wet and get him on my lips and go with him. I want to kiss your boy. He was, an eight, he was of age, rest assured. He was roughly 18. So I came to him and I said, hello, youngster. It's me, the narrator. I That's not my real name, but I won't tell my real name because I, this, yeah. So, I told him, look here, youngster, I have a lollipop for you. Mm. Wouldn't you like to get in my car? Yes. I think you'll find there are many tasty little treats and delicious snacks in for you and your kin in my car. And then I said, here, why don't you put on this wig to make you look like a little girl? I want to kiss your girly little boy lips. Oh, yes. Ah. I, I added on that last bit. The sounds. I added those on. That's me. That's my personal flair, Duke Spookum. That's why you subscribed to me. Anyway, back to the story. So, then I take the little boy and I take him in my car and I say, Your name is Tina now. Oh, and the twist was that I, the narrator, was the spookster all along. Oh! Mmm, yes, it is quite a haunting tale. Remember, keep all the little boys and girls in, in their rooms when it's their bedtime and shut the windows, please. Because you never know when there might be a boogie man about on the streets. Ha 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 yes. Yes, my little, my little spooky goblins. Today it is time for another story. We're doing a, a, a two or three parter. We'll see how I feel. Mm. Yes. Well, here's our next story. It is called the, 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 Bear Man of the Woods! Yes, here we go! On uh, my hometown of Nantucket Nect Nectars, Tennessee, I. There was a legend that went around about a man with the head of a bear and big hairy ankles who would trounce around in the bog! And they would all say, Look at that! Look, look out! Look at that! There goes the Bear Man! Ah, yes, and then in, indeed the youngsters, they would all point at the bear man and say, Look out, the bear man's gonna get you! And then they would turn around and they would see the bear man wasn't there, and their rude older brother would say, Ah, gotcha, there's no bear man at all! But then one day, one of the bear men was re the bear man came, ca the bear man came! And he was real, and he stole a boy. And they found him out in the cave, and then the bear man showed up again. But he wasn't a bear man, he was a boy man. Because he had the boy's head on his head! Ah! Ah! No! Mmm, what you just heard? Was that the click of my recording software pressing stop? Or was it a spookster hiding behind you? Oh, ah, no, cold babies. Oh, okay. 
one more story for you, my little, my sweet little dark brained go goblins, my goblins of the night. Okay, here we go, one more story. This one is called The Cursed Typewriter, which was a computer. So, uh, once upon a time, I found a computer. But the keyboard was a typewriter. And I went to the man who ran the antique computer store, and I said, What is this? Can I play Super Mario on it? It's my favorite video game. Ah, oh, and he said, I don't know if you can play Super Mario Brothers with no fingers. I looked down, I said, ah! But I still had all my fingers, and the man said, ha 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 ha, made you look. Made you look, you stinker. And he said, just for being such a good sport at my prank, I'll let you have it for free. But beware. I've heard rumors from the last man who brought it in that it stole his fingers and had sex with his girlfriend. Oh, and, the, and I said, Bah, poppycock! That's an urban myth! It's a myth from the inner city with the urban youth spreading their cockamamie slender of the electronics industry. Ah! Ah, my hubris! I regret it now! Ha! Ah. Ah. <coughs> I'm sorry, I had a bit of potato chip. It was stuck next to my tonsil. I thought I was gonna puke. Okay, don't worry though, I fixed it. Okay, back to the story. Don't ask why I don't do multiple takes, I don't need to answer to you. I'm Duke Spookum. Anyway, so here's our final st where was- where Oh yes! So I brought the computer home! And what do you think I found? When I turned it on, it was a picture of a dead body! Oh boy! And there it was! The corpse, of course! <laughs> but yes, I got quite the spook from it! Yes, it sent me quite jolted out of my chair and even made a little yellow spot in my underoos! Mm, yes! And then, when I popped the Mario CD, into the typewriter's top part where the paper goes, which is how the computer loaded CDs, I assumed. The computer started smoking, and it, a voice came out of the computer and said, Oh, it's a me, Mario! But it was dark and demonic, and sure enough, the laptop, I mean the monitor, top of the computer started to bleed it started to bleed like a virgin on her wedding night ah oh, during the during the consummation of their marriage ah oh, yes it was terrible indeed and i ran out of the house and i grabbed my matches and i put one of the matches down on the computer and it said i'm the ghost of your girlfriend i have i have your girlfriend's ghost in here i'm a demon and I said, FUCK YOU! And it set it on fire, and it said, "No!" And then it died, and my girlfriend's spirit was free from the evil Mario typewriter. Yes! I thought it was a happy ending, but it was sad because she was still dead. And I lost my Mario CD. And with that, Remember, my little spooksters, all the creepiest things happen in the nighttime. Goodbye! Ah!